Welcome back to another candid session of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, where we seamlessly blend straight up, street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions. And now, here's our navigator, business strategist, and commercial drone pilot, Tony Marino. Welcome back for another edition of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, where I will do my best to bring you valuable insights and tips on how you can succeed in the exciting world of drone operations. Today, we've got an informative program for inspiring drone pilots and those already in the industry. We'll be discussing the seven common reasons why drone pilots fail in business, and I'll be providing practical strategies to help you overcome these challenges. We have a lot of airspace to cover today. But before we delve into the seven reasons why drone pilots sometimes face challenges in their businesses, I want to share a few words of encouragement with you. It's crucial to understand that every business, regardless of its nature, encounters snags along the path to growth and success. So if you find yourself, and you will, facing obstacles, remember that you're not alone. It's all part of the journey. Don't lose heart. Instead, be patient and stay purpose-driven. Always better to be slow and steady than fast and furious. Develop a solid plan and work it diligently toward your goals. So be ready to make adjustments when necessary. you got to be nimble, dynamic. Flexibility is often the key to overcoming hurdles. And most importantly, be kind to yourself and remain realistic in your approach. If you ever feel overwhelmed, and you likely will, don't hesitate to reach out to trusted friends, mentors, or fellow drone pilots. They can help you and they can encourage you. Lastly, keep in mind this golden rule. If it cannot be measured, it's not worth doing. I'll say it again. If you can't measure it, it's not worth doing it in the first place. So let's embark on this journey together, armed with knowledge, determination, and a commitment to thriving in the drone industry. As we begin, I also want to encourage you to make the most of this teaching. Grab your notepad and jot down the key takeaways because the knowledge you gain here can be a game changer for your drone business. I mean that. And remember, this program airing isn't a one-time thing. You can come back and rewatch or re listen to this podcast, this program, this drone business strategy session anytime you need a refresher or if you encounter challenges along the way. The drone industry is dynamic and learning is a continuous process. Always be learning. And finally, we got to take action, right? Idea to action, learning to action, crucial part. It's not enough to just watch and listen. You got to do. The real power comes from turning what you learn into calculated action. I say calculated action, not wild and crazy with your legs flailing in the air. Right? Calculated. These strategies are just theories. They're steps you need to take to thrive in the drone industry or any business for that matter. And you've got to trust the process. You can hear me and read others, but you've got to trust the process, okay? So as we go through each reason for failure and the practical tips to overcome them, I should also keep in mind that success isn't a destination. It's a journey. It's about taking these drone business strategy practices from lesson to action, from idea to movement right? So if you're ready to elevate your drone business and make a lasting impact, let's get started on the first reason for failure, which is lack of business acumen. If you have any questions too, by the way, or you want to share your thoughts, do feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to me via email at info at aerialnorthwest.com. All right, so let's dive into our first reason for failure, a lack of of business acumen. 
It's a common pitfall in a world of drone pilots who often excel at flying drones, but may underestimate the crucial role of running a successful business. Understanding the intricacies of business is just as important as mastering the art of drone piloting. Your drone skills may take you to the skies, but it is your business acumen that ensures you stay there soaring high. So let's explore some practical tips to overcome this challenge and set a solid foundation for your drone business. All right. Let's create a business plan. First and foremost, consider creating a comprehensive business plan. Your business plan is like the flight plan of your business missions, your drone missions. It's, it outlines your objectives, your budget, and strategies for growth. It's your roadmap to success, helping you navigate the competitive landscape and stay on course. Next, we want to delve into the realm of financial management. Understanding your income and expenses, managing your budget effectively, a planning for future investments are essential aspects of running a successful drone business. Consider hiring an accountant or using accounting software to track your finances accurately. More on that a little later. Effective marketing is another component of your drone business. Building the strong brand identity, including a professional logo and website, can help you stand out in a crowded market. So don't shy away from marketing. Invest in digital marketing campaigns, create engaging content, and utilize social media to reach your audience. More on that in a little bit, all right? Customer relations. That's the foundation of a thriving business. Identifying your target market, your audience, your consumers, your customers, your clients, and understand their needs. That's, that's key. Active listening, offering solutions, and providing regular updates on project progress are all essential practices. Happy clients can become your biggest advocates. You've probably heard it said, do something good and they'll tell 10 friends, screw it up, and they'll tell a thousand. Lastly, consider enrolling in business courses or seeking mentorship from experienced entrepreneurs in the business realm. Learning from those who have navigated the business landscape can be immensely valuable to you on your journey to success. I went back to college after the Navy when I was in my late 30s and then went nine years straight to get my MBA. I'm not asking you to do that. But I had had street smarts, and I wanted to see what the scholars were doing. I had some Navy money, so boom, I invested the time. It was great, too. It was excellent leverage for my kids when they were going through high school because then they could see that Dad was doing pretty good in school, so they could, too, right? I could use it as leverage. Look at Pop. I'm getting straight A's. You can at least pull some C's in math, right? <laughs> so remember, while your drone skills are your wings, business acumen is your engine. Combining both will ensure your drone business takes flight and soars to new heights. Now, let's move on to reason number two. Let's explore how regulatory compliance plays a crucial role in your drone business success. So let's explore reason number two, regulatory compliance. Navigating the complex web of drone regulations can indeed be daunting, but it's critically crucial. Ignorance or noncompliance in this area can potentially damage your business in various ways. That's going to hinder your growth, isn't it? Think of regulatory compliance as the air traffic control for your drone operations. Just as aircraft must follow specific flight plans and rules to ensure safety, drones are subject to regulations to protect airspace and privacy. It's not only a legal requirement, but also a matter of maintaining a positive reputation in the industry. And reputation goes hand in hand with branding. We'll talk more about branding in the marketing section in just a few minutes. Stay informed about local drone regulations. Regulations can vary significantly, and they can change almost on a turn of a dime from one region to another. And, and, and like I said, 
you've got to keep your finger on the pulse. So take the initiative to research. Understand specific drone laws and regulations in your area. This may involve checking with local aviation authorities, government agencies. And if you hear something out there, go verify it before you enact it within your wheelhouse. Because you hear advice or information, still it falls back on you to make sure you've done your due diligence to make sure that information is accurate. The business you save may be your own. Another crucial step is to obtain all required licenses and certifications. For example, in the U.S., Part 107 certification is often necessary. In fact, it is necessary for all commercial drone flight. So make sure your equipment is registered. That's got to be done, too. Check all of these particular parameters and requisites in your local jurisdiction. And regularly check for updates. Keep up with any changes, updates to regulations, drones in their regulations. They evolve over time. And as the industry matures and technology advances, you want to continually check for updates and adapt your operations accordingly. Staying informed ensures that you're always in compliance with the latest requirements. Again, the business you say may be your own. You can't point the finger at somebody else. Do your due diligence before you implement it within your particular drone business strategy. You got to build trust with clients. Compliance isn't just about following rules. It's also about building trust with your clients. Clients value professionalism and they value adherence to the law. And by demonstrating your commitment to regulatory compliance, you show that you take your responsibility seriously and prioritize safety and legality. Remember, regulatory compliance isn't just about avoiding legal issues. It's about setting a high standard for your drone business. It's about being a responsible and reliable operator in a growing industry. So make it a priority to stay informed, obtain the necessary licenses, and regularly check for updates. It's a foundation upon which you can build a successful and trustworthy drone business. So now that we've covered the importance of regulatory compliance, business acumen, let's move forward to reason number three. Seven reasons why drone pilots fail in business. Number three is focusing on technical proficiency or the lack thereof in an ever-evolving world of drone technology. Not staying updated can indeed put you at a significant disadvantage. The value of technical knowledge cannot be understated. Think of technical knowledge as the fuel that powers your drone business, just as a well-maintained engine propels an aircraft. Staying technically proficient propels your success in the drone industry. Now let's explore some practical tips to ensure you're always at the forefront of technological advancement. Attend workshops, webinars. Invest in ongoing training. Attending workshops, webinars, and conferences dedicated to drone technology is an excellent way to stay up to date. Plus, these events provide valuable opportunities to learn from experts, get hands-on experience, new equipment, and, and network with fellow drone enthusiasts. Participate in other communities. Actively participating in online communities, for example, is another invaluable resource. Forums, social media groups, and online platforms are excellent sources of industry knowledge and insight. Engaging in discussions and asking questions in these communities can help you troubleshoot technical issues and help you stay informed about the latest industry trends. Embracing technology. Got to embrace the new tools and software to enhance your capabilities, right? The, the drone industry constantly introduces innovative solutions that can improve your services, whether it's advanced camera technology, data analysis software, or specialized drones for specific applications, staying open to these advancements can set you apart from the competition. More on competition in a few minutes, because that's another reason why drone pilots fail in business. 
Consider joining professional organizations related to drone technologies, photography. These associations often provide members with access to exclusive resources, industry research, networking opportunities. Connecting with fellow pilots and experts can provide valuable insights and also recommendations. So by embracing ongoing training, participating in online communities, and staying open to new technology, in doing so, you'll position yourself as a knowledgeable and reliable expert in the field. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and where you are today isn't where you're going to be should you continue to learn and to grow and to experience, right? Get out there and try and true it. Remember, the drone industry technical proficiency is not a one-time achievement either. It's an ongoing commitment to excellence. All right, so with these practices, you'll ensure that you're not only flying high but also staying ahead in the ever-evolving world of drone technology. Now, let's Let's proceed to reason number four, the fourth reason why drone pilots fail in business. Inadequate marketing and branding. Yep. Now, let's talk about that and why that's an issue, and then what we can do to alleviate some of that pain. In the competitive world of drone operations, even if you possess exceptional skills, visibility is paramount to your success can make the greatest rug in the world. You know, you could paint the greatest painting, but if you throw it under your bed and nobody knows it's there, how are they going to buy it? So let's talk about the power of marketing and branding. So think of marketing and branding as your runway lights in the vast airspace of the drone industry. I mean, they guide clients to your services and help you stand out amidst the competition. So let's explore some practical tips to ensure your drone business gets the attention it deserves. Number one, create a professional website. Begin by focusing on developing a strong online presence. Your website serves as your digital headquarters. Ensure it's professional, user-friendly, and it showcases your best work, your portfolio, services, and your contact information. A well-designed website not only attracts potential clients, but also leaves a lasting impression. Make sure your website is mobile-friendly and optimized for search engines, SEO, search engine optimization. Be easily discoverable on search engines like Google. That can significantly boost your online visibility. Invest in SEO strategies to improve your website's ranking. Make it more likely for potential clients to find you. Actively work on that social media profile of yours as well, especially on platforms like Instagram and YouTube. This can help you showcase your work and connect with potential clients. Consistently posting high-quality content, which includes captivating drone footage and informative videos, go a long way and help highlight your, your expertise. Target advertising. Invest in targeted advertising campaigns. Platforms like Facebook and and Google Ads allow you to define specific demographics and interests for your ads, ensuring that they reach your ideal clients. You get more bang for your advertising dollar, more surgical in your approach, rather than spray and pray or all over the road marketing. It's a cost-effective way to attract potential customers who are genuinely interested in your services. We talked about earlier networking within the industry. That falls under marketing, too. It's a powerful strategy. Attend drone-related trade shows. Join local business associations and actively participate in industry events. Building relationships with peers Uh, Potential clients and collaborators, well, that can open doors to new opportunities. Remember that your brand identity is not just about your logo. It's the entire perception of your business. Consistency in messaging and visually across all your marketing materials, your marketing platforms, from your website to your social media profiles, builds a strong and memorable brand. So by implementing these marketing strategies and building a compelling brand, you'll make sure that your drone business isn't just a hidden gem. It's a shining star 
in the competitive drone industry. All right, let's move on to reason number five. Fifth reason why drone pilots fail in business. Talk about the critical importance of maintaining positive client relationships for long-term success. It's a lot harder to get that first customer, isn't it? But once you get that first customer with all that investment of time and capital, you want to hold on to them. And so poor client relations are one of the pitfalls for drone pilots starting or operating their businesses. So let's move on into that poor client relations. Building and maintaining positive client relations is not just important. It's absolutely essential for long, long-term success in the drone industry. The significance of client relations cannot be understated. Think of, of client relations as the wind beneath your drone's wings, propelling it to new heights. Happy and satisfied clients not only ensure repeat business, but also become your advocates in the industry. So let's explore some practical tips to help you establish and nurture these crucial relationships. Effective communication. Chiefly prioritize excellent communication. Get that in your wheelhouse. Get that in your quiver. Effective and transparent communication is the cornerstone of a successful client relationship. Listen attentively to your clients. Understand their needs and make sure they are aware of the services you offer. You can offer up solutions. When clients come to you with challenges or projects, don't just see them as problems to solve, but as opportunities to provide solutions. You want to contour your services to meet their specific needs and objectives. You want to share regular updates. Communication is absolutely paramount. Got to have that dialogue, those touch points. So provide those regular updates. Throughout a project, keep your clients informed about its progress. Transparency breeds trust, and clients appreciate being kept in the loop. Even if there is no significant developments, a brief update can go a long way in demonstrating your commitment. You're a real estate photographer. You might send a text, I'm at the property, and when you're done shooting, you leave. I'm, we're finished and everything is secure. Have a nice weekend. That's another touch point. You're communicating with your client. You want to be reliable. You want to be dependable. This is critical. Meeting deadlines is not just a good practice. It's a promise to make to your clients that you must live by. Consistently delivering on time not only instills confidence, but also demonstrates your professionalism. And shoot for exceeding those expectations. Go the extra mile whenever possible. Tell the client it's going to take two days to get the media back to them. You can get it done in one. Razzle-dazzle them. Surprise them. Get it done early. Exceed client expectations can lead to delighted clients who are more likely to recommend your services to others. It could be delivering exceptional results, providing additional insight, or simply offering extra support. You want to also request feedback. After completing a project, you don't want to forget to request feedback and reviews from your clients. We always let our clients know, hey, we're going to send you a little email in a couple days. We'd really like your inputs on the job that we performed for you. Their testimonies can build your online reputation and attract new business through referrals, word of mouth. Additionally, it shows that you value their opinions and you are committed to continually improving. Want to build strong client relations. Remember, in the drone industry, client relationships aren't just transactional. They're the foundation of your success. So by focusing on excellent communication offering solutions, providing regular updates, being reliable, and exceeding expectations, you'll not only have satisfied clients, but also clients who become your strongest advocates. So with these practices, you'll ensure that your drone business not only soars to new heights, but also maintains a strong and sustainable presence in the industry. So let's move on to reason number six, the sixth reason why drone pilots fail in business. 
is neglecting safety protocols. In this fast-paced and high-flying field, safety is not just a priority. It is an, it, it's absolute paramount. So the crucial role of safety. Let's think about that. Imagine safety protocols as the air traffic control tower, uh, guiding your drones safely through the skies. Neglecting safety can lead to accidents. It can lead to equipment, equipment damage or even harm to others, all of which can result in legal issues and financial setbacks. That's not good for your brand. So let's explore some practical tips to ensure safety is on the forefront of your operations. Let's make sure we're conducting all pre-flight checks. To the greatest extent, prioritize safety with thorough pre-flight checks. Before each mission, inspect your drone, the batteries, the controller. Ensure that all components are in proper working order. Familiar yourself with the air sp- familiarize yourself with the airspace and any potential obstacles or hazards in the area, people, wildlife, etc. Write it down. Right? Put it on have a, a, ch- a physical checklist. We do. Yeah, it takes a few minutes, but at the end of the day, you could wind up in a court of law. Better make sure your paperwork is up to and touching. So you want to take care of that while you're in the field. You never know when you're going to get called before the magistrate to defend yourself. Have your paperwork in order. Follow safety guidelines. Another practical tip. So always follow safety guidelines and regulations. That includes respecting the no-fly zones, altitude restrictions, and other airspace rules. Ignorance of these regulations is not an excuse, so it's essential to stay informed and compliant. As I said earlier, the business you save may be your own. Invest in quality equipment. And also maintenance that works specifically for your aerial operation. Reliable and well-maintained drones are, and accessories are less likely to experience technical failures during flight. So create a maintenance schedule log and keep detailed records of equipment inspections and any necessary repairs. We even log every time our batteries get charged. Put it down in writing. Put it down in writing. Never know when we're going to be called to testify, right? Consider obtaining liability insurance. Do you have that? We do. While safety precautions are essential, accidents can happen. Liability insurance can provide financial protection in case of accidents or damage to third parties. Landing in somebody's hair, hurting somebody, it could get real ugly real fast. It's a safeguard that can offer you great peace of mind. Uh, We go through State Farm, but there's a variety of insurance carriers out there that can get you covered. Prioritize safety always. Remember, safety is not just about protecting your business. It's about protecting people and property. Prioritizing safety not only reduces the risk of accidents, but also builds trust with your clients who value professionalism and, as I mentioned earlier, adherence to the law. So by following these safety protocols, you'll not only navigate the dr- in the drone industry with confidence, but also ensure that your business operates smoothly and responsibly. Now, let's proceed to finally the seventh and final reason why drone pilots fail in business. You know what it is? It's underestimating the competition. That's right. So let's dive in the seventh and final reason for failure. In a fiercely competitive drone industry, ignoring the ever-evolving market can quickly lead to stagnation and falling out of touch and going out of business. Not good. The dynamics of competition. Think of competition as the wind that pro- propels your, your drone forward. Thrust. Embracing it can help you soar to new heights. To thrive in this landscape, let's explore some practical tips that will empower you to recognize and adapt to the competitive forces at play. Scan and monitor the competitive landscape. 
begin by establishing a habit to continuously monitor the competitive landscape. That means staying updated on what your competitors are offering, their strengths, their weaknesses, identify gaps in the market, uh, looking for emerging trends. That's almost like a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a model of assessment that scholars will use from time to time. It's an acronym, initialism, SWOT, Strengths and weaknesses, internal opportunities and threats. Those are external forces. Got to know what's going on out there so that you can be ready to play to play at the top of your game. You got to differentiate differentiate yourself too by offering unique services. While there may be numerous drone operators in the field, finding your niche or specialization can set you apart. So consider what you do exceptionally well or where your passion lies and focus on that specific area. Specialize in a niche. Becoming an expert in a specific area of drone operations can be highly advantageous. It allows you to cater to a particular market segment that values specialized expertise. So the unique drone services that you're offering might be very specific. You have a certain style of flying. You have a different process. You might use AI in your, in perhaps in your real estate captures where you don't want to, you want to be able to AI the trash can out of the shot or that dirty hose that looks crappy. You want to get that out of the shot. So you have a unique service that you provide within the framework of your particular drone operation. The niche is going to be a very specific, which would be something like maybe real estate, maybe you're flying, you're doing ag flying, maybe you're doing search and rescue, uh, maybe you're going in after um, some sort of a catastrophic event and you're donating. So what is your niche? Define that, and only you can do that. Networking is a powerful tool. Don't underestimate it. This is important to attend those industry-related events, conferences, and trade shows whenever financially feasible. You want to connect with fellow drone professionals, potential clients, and collaborators. Building relationships within the industry can open doors to new opportunities and collaborations. You need to stay abreast of the trends, what's going on in the market trends. The drone industry is continually evolving with new technology and applications emerging at breakneck speed. You've got to be proactive in learning about these trends and adapting your services to meet the challenging demands of the marketplace. So remember, the competitive landscape is not something to fear. It's an environment filled with opportunities. Embrace competition as a driving force that pushes you to innovate or to excel, to always be moving upward and forward. By continuously monitoring the competition, differentiating yourself, specializing in a niche, networking, and staying informed about market trends, you're going to be better equipped to thrive in the dynamic and competitive world of commercial drone operations. So with these strategies now in your toolkit, you're poised for success in the drone industry. Now, before we wrap up this session, let's take a moment to review the key points we've covered. Number one. Failure reason number one, business acumen. We discussed the importance of business acumen and the need to develop a comprehensive business plan, understand financial management, marketing, and customer relations. Next, failure reason two was regulatory compliance. We emphasize regulatory compliance and the significance of staying informed about local drone regulations, obtaining necessary licenses, and ensuring compliance with updates. Failure reason three, technical knowledge. We highlighted the importance of staying technically proficient through ongoing training, attending workshops, and embracing new technology and software. Failure reason four, marketing and branding. We discussed the power of marketing and branding, focusing on creating a strong online presence, optimizing for SEO, engaging on social media, and networking within the industry. Failure reason five, client relations. We delved into building strong client relationships, emphasizing uh, effective communication. We talked about offering solutions, 
providing regular updates, being reliable, and we talked about exceeding expectations. Failure reason six, safety protocols. We stress the paramount importance of safety protocols, including pre-flight checks, following safety guidelines, investing in quality equipment and maintenance, and considering liability insurance. And failure reason seven, competition. We explored the dynamics of competition, advising you to continuously monitor the competitive landscape, uh, offer unique services, specialize in a niche, network within the industry, and stay informed about market trends. So you're armed with, with these insights now and committed to taking actionable steps. You're well prepared to thrive in a dynamic world of commercial drone operations. Remember, your success is not just about flying high. It's about flying smart and building a sustainable business. Before we conclude, I have one more announcement for you in today's program as a special bonus, if you will. I'll, I'll be providing a link in the description below a white paper. By clicking on that link, you'll be able to download a com complimentary copy of the Drone Business Strategy White Paper for this session. Uh, this comprehensive resource will further guide you in implementing the strategies we've discussed today and taking your drone business to new altitudes. Uh, so don't miss out either. Uh, subscribe as well. Uh, many valuable resources uh, that we offer on a regular basis. Make sure uh, to check the description below for that link. Uh, it's our way of supporting your journey uh, to success in the in the dynamic drone industry. Uh, we've got our newsletter that goes out each week. Get more information in the link below. Well, I want to thank you for joining us for this drone business strategy session. If you found this content valuable, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. And as always, feel free to leave your questions or thoughts in the comment section below. Reach out to me directly at info at Aerial Northwest. I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more exciting drone-related insights, and tips, and strategies. And until next time, fly safe, fly smart, and fly to success. Thanks for listening. Much love. God bless. And that's a wrap for today's high-flying wisdom on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Pre-planned for ambitious drone pilots like you. As we tie down another session of seamlessly blending street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions, remember, your journey is your destination. For more drone business strategy information and valuable resources, be sure to explore aerialnorthwest.com. Stay tuned for more aerial adventures and strategic brilliance exclusively on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Until next time, keep those dreams flying high.